Okay. So today's topic is how are you supposed to be prepared for you to be able to become a director? Now, according to the system that we are running as the land kings, according to the system that we are running, if you follow through step by step, in the next uh, four to 12 months, you should be able to become director. But for you to be able to become director in the next four to 12 months, there's some, there's some preparation that you must do. There are some things that you must have. There are some qualities that you must possess for you to be able to become a director in those four to 12 months. Now, one of the things that you must have, you need to be prepared mentally. Mentally, you need to, mentally and psychologically, you need to be prepared to become a director. Today, I shared something on the WhatsApp group uh, that was quite, quite funny. I found it so funny. I saw it on someone's status. I found it so funny, but then it carried a lot of sense. And then I was like, let me share it on the groups. And this was some, some guy that was holding a phone and asked, Siri, how can I transform the money that is on my in my brain onto my bank account? And then Siri re responded and said, I am very sorry to say this. It's so unfortunate that the, in your mind, there is zero amount. So because there is zero amount in your mind, you cannot have any money on your bank account. Now, that was a very funny message, but then it carried a lot of sense. Now, for you to be able to become a director, you must become a director first in your mind. If in your mind there is no director, if in your mind there is no WhatsApp director, if in your mind there is no Ruby director, if in your mind there is no president's team, there is no diamond director, there is no five diamond director in your mind, then you can never become any of those levels in the business. So to become a director, number one, you must be a director first in your mind and then the results will follow. What am I trying to communicate? I am trying to communicate that for you to become a director, you need to think like a director. You need to have the attitude and the mentality of a director. You need to have the attitude of a director. You need to have the money. A director earns between 2.5 million shillings, averagely 2.5 million shillings. With a good structure, you could even go to 5.5 million shillings. You could even go to 6 million shillings with a very good structure. Now, if you want to understand the terminologies, those terminologies of a good structure that can pay even up to 5 million shillings, you need to have a one-on-one -on -one so that we can talk about it and we show you. But I will give you a glimpse on how, on, on what you need, what kind of structure you need to have for you to become that kind of good quality director. So to become a director, become a director first in the mind and then the results are going to follow. You need to act like a director. You need to walk like a director. You need to speak like a director. You need to confess like a director. In fact, for you to become a director in this business, when we see you with the way you carry yourself, with the way you handle yourself, when we look at your activities, we need to say, you know what? I do not know how it so happens that you're not yet a director, but you are a director material. We know, we can clearly see that anytime anything is happening, anytime you are becoming a director. I am working with quite a number of people 
quite a number of people. But there are people that I know that whatever case it may be, this month, they must become directors. There are people that I'm working with that I know that this month, they must become managers. This month, they must become senior managers. This month, they must be executive managers. This month, they must be directors. There are people that I am working with that I know that it's just a matter of time. They are becoming Ruby directors anytime. But there are also people that I'm working with. And some of them are actually on this call. With the way they are working, with the way they are carrying themselves, with their attitude, their mentality. When they come and tell me that just as you know what, I want to become a director. Not to be negative, not to be discouraging. I just tell them, yeah, I believe in you. I know, in fact, I know that you're going to become a director. I think I should start being honest. And I start telling people first off, I tell you, you know what? With the way how you're working, I see you as a manager, not as a, even a senior manager. Maybe it can be hope. Though sometimes when you're so open, some people try to, you know, think the other way around. But the truth of the matter is, you don't even have to tell us that I want to become a director. We can always see. We can always see and tell that you are becoming a director. And like I said, I know that there are people that must become directors this month. Reason being, because I am seeing them. I am seeing their mentality. I am seeing their attitude. I am seeing the way they are working. I know that anytime they are becoming directors. And trust me, this month, we are developing two directors. Two directors. Why? We can see them. So, tip number one on becoming a director. Have the right mindset. To become a director, it doesn't begin anywhere. It begins in the, in the mind. That is number one. Number two on becoming a director is activity. What are you putting in? What is your daily activity? You know, John C. Maxwell says that you do not judge the day by the harvest, but you judge the day by the seed that you are planting. And here's something that I've gotten to learn out of experience. I have gotten to learn out of experience that life will never give you what you want. Life only gives you what you have worked for. Some of us, you want to talk to one person a day or one person a week. And then you have hopes of doing a three in 30. Please forget about it. Some of you are talking to one, two, three, five people in a whole entire week. And then you're here fooling your souls that you're going to become a director. Never forget about it. Forget about it. I mean, with our culture, one of the things that we are promoting and marketing today is making a profit between 50,000 to 100,000 every single day. Doing a three in 30 every single month. Qualifying at title every single month. Taking your next step every single month. That's our culture. Those are things that we are looking at. Adding five new customers onto your customer team every single month. That's our culture. Talking to 100 people every single month. Talking to 100 people every single month. And then collecting 10 to 20 referrals from every single person you speak to every single day. 
The question is, are you doing that? Are you following the Lion King's culture? Do not judge the day by the harvest. Don't judge the week by how much you how much you've been able to accomplish. Do not judge the month by how much result you've ended up with. But you judge the day. You judge the week, you judge the man by the seed that you have planted. I mean, you cannot sow a cup of maize and you expect to harvest five tons of maize. No, things don't work that way. No, they don't work that way. You sow a cup of maize, you probably harvest a bucket at the end of the harvest. You sow one ton of maize, you harvest five to ten tons of maize. That is how it works. You speak to 100 people, you will automatically do your 3 in 30. If you donate 3 in 30, ladies and gentlemen, we are building our business on the basis of 3 in 30. Three in 30 simply means you are bringing in three people into the business monthly and each of those three people are doing 100 personal points. I think very soon we will, are going to have to discuss it as leaders to introduce a kit of 100 personal points so that it becomes easier to do a three in 30 so that people, when they are joining in, they join in with a hundred points so that when you sponsor your three, automatically you know that you actually have a hundred personal, personal points. But a hundred, a hundred personal points is easily generated by selling only three big three and ends. Only three, one, two, three big three and ends. That is 102 personal points. Or even to simplify it, when someone joins the business, the Land King's system, the starter kit is 360,000. Those are two small tree NNs and one LDC. Those are 44 points. So on those 44 points, simply add two big tree NNs. Or add on just one jerry can of five liter super grow if someone is a farmer. Automatically, that equates to 100 personal points. So when you sponsor three people and all have done, if he's a farmer, add them a five liter jerry can, which is 60 points, that makes 104 points. And if he's joining business for business, add them two other big three NNs, that also equates to 100 personal points and above. So when you bring three people into the business and they do 100 personal points, that is a three in 30. We have sat back and done all the calculations. When you are doing a three in 30 on a monthly basis, consistently for 12 months, you will have sponsored 36 people and automatically by the time you finish one year, you are not only going to be a director, but you are going to be making steps automatically to the world team. So that is why it is important to do a three in 30 on a monthly basis. The number one key secret to becoming a director in the next four to 12 months is doing a three in 30 on a monthly basis. And you also teach your people, the people that you're bringing in, especially those that are joining to build business. Those that are joining and are saying, I want to become a director. Let me show you what it means to become a director, by the way. Uh, where is this? Where is this? Uh -huh. Becoming a Lion King's director. Here we go. Becoming a Lion King's director. Be a new life Lion King's director. Now, Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see it clearly? 
to be the best strategy is doing a three in 30 monthly. That is the best strategy. If you want to become a director in the next three to in the next four to 12 months, simply do a three in 30 every single month. And the people that you're sponsoring, remember that when you're sponsoring, when you're sponsoring people, there are three categories of people you sponsor. Some end up just being customers. Others, they love the business, but they are not very ready to do the business. And then others, this is an opportunity that they have been praying for. So it is an answer to prayer. They are ready to pursue the business. They are called A players. Those that love the business, want the business, but they are not ready to do the business because they are engaged with work. They have too much on their desk. They are called B players. And then those that join just to use products, they are called C players. So this structure of six people, these six people that you end up building to become senior managers with 1,000 points, 1,000 points, 1,000 points, 1,000 points, 1,000 points. In total, all this is 6,000 points. And this 6,000 points, a structure like this, will pay you an average of $1,000, which is an average of 3.8 million shillings a month. Now, those are the strong directors I was talking about. This kind of structure can even cross to 4.5 million. It can even cross to 5 million shillings. The minimum with this kind of structure, the minimum, minimum that you would earn is a minimum of 2.5 million shillings. And what are the benefits? An average in commission of 2.5 million shillings, daily profit of 50 to 100,000, red carpet dinner, director dinner, attend leadership school, and then director recognition and step up bonuses. It's possible to achieve financial freedom by simply becoming a director. Uh huh. So that's how we become director. That is how we actually become directors. If you are um, doing a three in 30 on a monthly basis, you're sponsoring three people. And when you get those A players, you also teach them how to do the same. You show them the director plan. That's why I was telling you that when you consistently do a 3 in 30, you'll be becoming directors and your A players we are also, will also be pursuing to become directors. And they, as they become directors, you become a world team. By the way, there is nothing that we are sharing. There is nothing that we are talking about here that we have not done. Everything we are sharing, I have personally done it. When I joined the business, my first month, I sponsored one, two, three, six people personally. Instead of doing a three in 30, I did a six in 30. And on my team, there are people who did three in 30s. All together in my first month, I did, with, I, we sponsored 19 people. That's how I became, I didn't become a manager. I became a senior manager straight away. My second month, I sponsored four people. My third month, I sponsored three people. My fourth month, I sponsored five people. And, as, and then I sponsored two and then one, then I did again a three in 30. By the time in six months, I became director. Remember, I told you that our system is proven that when you follow it, four to 12 months, you become a director. 
So I became a director in six months. And after becoming director, three people became directors in other six the following month. In 13 months, one, two, three, 12, 13 months, I became a world team member, a Sapphire director. One, two, three, 13 months. Six month director, 13 month world team. Why? I was not only doing a 3 in 30, I was even doing a 16 30. And even the people that I sponsored into the business, they were also busy doing 3 in 30s. Someone will ask me, so what happened after? I became lazy. I became so comfortable earning 4.5 million shillings averagely every single month. I became so comfortable. I was young. I was uh, getting enough money. There was no need for me to continue doing three in thirties. Between 2013 and 2019, those are about um, 2013 to 2019, those are about seven, eight years. I sponsored only four people personally. And that is why for all those years, I never grew. I never grew at all. My income was stable at the same range all the way through. I never grew. Why? Because I stopped doing the things that stuck me to world team. I stopped doing the three in thirties. But had I continued doing a three in thirty every single month, trust me, I would be a president's team member. What have I resolved? I have resolved again to do three in thirties every single month. And trust me, just watch the space. In the next two to five years, I want to be on the president's team. I want to be a diamond director in the next two to five years. Why? Because I have resumed doing my three in thirties. I am mentally prepared. I am psychologically prepared. In my mind, in my mind, the income that is in my mind, and I am growing myself every single day, the income that is in my mind is between 30 to 50 million shillings every single month. It is only a matter of time, just a matter of time. There's a Nigeria who says, just milliseconds, just milliseconds, just a matter of time that I am going to transfer the 30 to 50 million shillings to my bank account. Just milliseconds, two to five years. I am mentally and psychologically prepared. Let me show you the other thing that you must do to become a director, the other thing that you must do to go to the world team, to go to director, to work very hard, is you need to be prepared. You need to have something that is chasing you. Something that is chasing you. There is a statement that says that what is chasing you is what shows you the way. In Luganda, they say, e kubo. In Ruchiga, they say, e kwa muhanda. What is chasing you is what shows you the way. Now, personally, what is chasing me? It is a hungry lion. Some of you are being chased by chicken. Some of you are being chased by duck. Some of you are being chased by sheep. Some of you are being chased by goats. Some of you are being chased by cats. Me, I am being chased by a hungry lion. And what is that hungry lion? It is my dream. What is your dream? What are your goals? What are your heartly desires? How passionate are you towards your goals and dreams? Remember that new life is a vehicle that can help you to get to your goals and dreams. 
So what is chasing you? What are some of those reasons that you must become a director? To begin with, all, all of our new distributors, begin by writing down 101 goals and dreams, the reasons as to why you must succeed in new life. Now, personally, in the next two to five years, these are my reasons. Number one, as you can see, in progress. This is a $1.8 billion dollar one a 1.8 billion shil Ugandan shillings project. It is in progress. Phase one, which are the shops that are supposed to be generating 5 million shillings every single month, they are almost being complete. Then we start on phase two, which are the behind apartments. That is why I must make the money. That is why my business must grow. My business must explode. So I must make between 30 to 50 million shillings every single month if these projects must come to completion. That is my dream home. That is my dream home. It is estimated to cost 850 million. Well, the other thing I'm also learning, these engineers tell very good, beautiful lies to encourage you not to discourage you so that they don't scare you so that you can be able to start. They said it's 850 million, but from what I have seen, it may actually cross to over 1 billion shillings because this is 530 square meters. It is seated, going to be seated on three acres of land here in Kampala. 25 kilometers from my office. To accomplish this project, I cannot stay earning the same amount of money that I'm earning and expect to finish this project. So I must step up. That's why I'm telling you, you need to have very strong reasons on why you must succeed in your life. You must have strong reasons if your strong, if your reasons are weak, then you can never get there. And then after that, Mbarara project. That's where my country home is going to be. I want 20 acres in Mbarara where I'm going to build my country home. What are the reasons? What is chasing you? What is your dream? What are your goals? Nichech kwiru chize. Church kugobye. What is that dream? What is that burning desire that is pushing you to the wall? What is that what are those goals that get you to, 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 to fail to find sleep? What are your reasons for doing the new life business? Why must you succeed? You see, we became wealthy members without any skills. We became wealthy members without any knowledge, without any experience. Do you know why we became wealthy members? It's because we were hungry for success. Our dreams were big. Our goals were big. We did not become directors and world members because we had, uh, you know, because we had, uh, because we, 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 we were good, because we were ambitious, because we were, we were good presenters. No, we never succeeded because we were good presenters. We succeeded because our reasons to succeed were strong enough. Are your reasons to succeed strong enough? Or are you comfortable languishing in poverty? I did, are you not tired of poverty? Recently, I was looking for a school for my daughter. My son goes to Kampala Parents, he's now 12 years old. He's on the national curriculum. So we are looking for a school for my daughter who wanted to do the international curriculum. Even my son wanted to we want to divert and go into the international curriculum. And then I discovered 
that in Uganda, there are schools whereby these toddlers, these kids that have not yet learned how to talk, two, three, five years, there are schools in Uganda where kids of four years go and they pay up to 73, 83 million shillings every single term. And then I'm like, wait a minute. You mean such kind of schools are in Uganda? Where kids of four years pay up to 83 million shillings? Can you imagine? And these schools, they are full with children. Man, we need to make money. We need to make money. We need to make money. We need to get out of this being comfortable in poverty. We need to get out of this comfort, you know. We need to make money. So what is chasing you? What is your dream? What are your goals? What are your heartly desires? Some of us have been on border borders and our backs are even broken. Our backs are not okay. Why? Because we are too comfortable. New life is here. New life is here. It, we can make a lot of money and buy cars. We can make a lot of money and travel the world. We can make a lot of money and sleep in our dream homes. And what are we doing? We are wasting the opportunity. So ladies and gentlemen, let's work hard. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Let's get into the, the, the land king's culture. A profit of 50 to 100,000 every day. If you don't know how, we are ready to teach you. Today, I made profits of 600,000. Today, 600,000 profits. Yesterday, I made a profit of 550,000. Do you know why? I need money like yesterday. Money, ma the money that I am going to lavishly spend in Zanzibar, all of it must be made this week. In the past two days, I've made profits of over 1 million shillings. Why? I want to have fun in Zanzibar. I want to spend money. So if you are having challenges with making profit, please come to us. We shall teach you how to make the profit. The other culture is talking to presenting to 100 people every month. By the way, just divide 100 by the 30 days. Those are averagely between three to five people every single day. A three in 30 every month. Three in 30 every single month. You need to focus on stepping up, taking your next step. If you're a distributor, this month should not end when you're not a manager. If you're a manager, this month should not end when you are not a senior manager. If you're a senior manager, this month should end as an executive manager. How are we going to, how are we going to celebrate our conversion? when you are not being recognized and you go and you come out empty-handed. Some of you attended last year's convention as managers and senior managers. Collins, and even up to today, you're going to attend the, the convention as a senior manager. Last year, you were a senior manager and this year again, you're attending as a senior manager. Really? You work for a whole entire year? My goodness, we need to step up. We must step up. We must step up. We must step up. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I have not spoken to your head. I hope that I've spoken to your heart. We've got to come up, embrace our system. It is proven to work. It is working. It's working for people, people are making money. Our system is proven. Just listen in and then give it your best.
I am a man of few words. If I don't stop talking, I will talk until the cows come back home. But guys, let's all step up so that we, we celebrate our end of year convention in style. Each one of us on this call should target at least making two steps before the end of year convention. In October, take a step. In November, take a step. Let's recognize you at the end of year convention on the 6th and on the 7th. Thank you so much. Have a blessed evening.